Hi, there's some breaking news. The IRS has encountered a glitch in their system. This may cause all citizens to get one trillion dollars. Tonight we're going to take you to the streets of Chicago to talk to the citizens about the IRS situation. I would like to put it towards the next generation in my family, so I think I would just put it in a bank and not touch it. I would put zero in my savings. I would blow it. College fund. One of the things I would do is clean up the schools because our educational system is garbage and so many of the problems that we're having are resulting from people not being educated, being ignorant to things, and then making poor choices. Probably set aside a little bit of money uh, for myself and my family uh, to make sure that I could go to school and I can continue my education and that my family would be well taken care of, but that's a whole lot of money. I've learned to do my backflip. <laughs> I learned to do a backflip. I learned how to uh, dive. They wanted to think of buy, buy, buy a house for my parents and my sister. I would give half of it to charity since like there are people in need who need it more than I do. Well, considering I work here at Treehouse Humane Society, um, we're a sanctuary for cats, so I think I would put that directly back into the programming here because um, the work is never done. That's it. You wouldn't spend any of it. I wouldn't spend any of it. Not even a dollar. Not even, not even a dollar. I would wow. put it in a bank, keep living my life how I've been living. I wouldn't touch it, and I'd just leave it for my next generation. There are many other ways the U.S. government could spend $1 trillion. Money could be used to keep schools up to date with current textbooks and technology. $5 million was cut to restructure bus routes, reducing public transit to the schools. $13 million was cut in Chicago Police Department expenses, potentially making schools less safe for students. $9 million was cut in custodian expenses, reducing working class jobs and potentially making schools less healthy environments. $100 million was cut for the 4% cost of living increase to teachers' salaries. Action.